Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Project High Rise, where we desperately need to add in a new trash disposal, if for no other reason than to get more people out there collecting the trash. Unfortunately, recycling? How's recycling doing? Oh, actually, yeah, recycling's pretty bad, too. File storage? We need more of that. Oh, my lord, we need more of everything. It's never simple in this tower, never simple. Though part of the problem is that I'm adding so much stuff all the time. Um, did that need phone? It did need phone indeed. Okay, well uh, that's fine. We can go ahead and do that straight away. So file service, storage services for our medical professionals. We are gonna need electricity across the whole floor. And then we're going to need telephone wiring across this one. Next up, we are also... Ooh, there we go. We are also going to want trash services. So, more collection for both. There we go. That should take the pressure off a tiny bit. That's really bad over there, though. Really, really bad. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be building up our second lobby. On the 18th floor, there's going to be a new lobby... And a place where we can pop some lovely, lovely art. And then above that, we're going to be adding in a new uh, sort of uh, commercial area. Where we can get some stores, maybe some food. It'll be grand. So we'll get all of this set up now. There we go. And bring this up. Now, the goal for this episode specifically is not the creation of these floors. That is just a way to get to that goal, and that is to finish off this. We need three legal professionals and three financial professionals. Um, we've got everything else we need. We, I wouldn't mind another medical office, though. Yeah, sure, you can go in there. Let's fill up those spaces, please, people. Uh, how's everything going down there? That's not too bad. We've only got, a, well, we haven't got an amazing amount of money, honestly. Um, we could have as infrastructure operating costs would go down a little bit. Happy drones, everyone would be happy. New. No. We're gonna wait a little while. There's bound to be a lot of stuff that I'm gonna wanna do. Now, to build up our legal offices, we pretty much need places that serve a dinner. So restaurants that serve dinner. Um, we could allocate spaces for large restaurants or medium Diner or restaurant? Uh, how about a large restaurant, you know? Let's let's see about putting in maybe even two. Can I fit two? No, I can't quite fit two. But I could fit two either side. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Let's have a look. We've got an Italian restaurant. Uh, that would be quite nice. So it's dinner and has a bar. Hmm. Restaurante Napoli. Yeah, let's go for that. I, I, like, I like that one. We're going to need to add in electricity, of course, across both walls. Now, that one needs gas. Let's get gas going across, at least as far as this. Next, it needs water, of course. There we go. Do you need anything else? You do not. However, you are absolutely going to need... Um, trash services. So let's go ahead and build over here some trash collection. There we go. And yes, it's going to look a little bit uh, rough for the time being, but hopefully it'll get a little bit better. Could not dispose of our trash yesterday. There we go. That is all done. Now, will that have been enough? It will have been enough. Wow, I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. I'll, I'll be honest. And we need catering services for our legal offices. They they don't just expect to uh, have some better places for their workers to go for a, for a meal out. They actually need places that will cater for them when they're having board meetings or, or lunch meetings. You know, what is a lunch meeting without lunch? You might wonder, well, why don't you just go to the restaurant to have lunch? But, uh, you know, they, they're talking about pr important legal matters here. You can't just be chatting about that on the booth while the, the waitress is listening in. Probably some sort of industrial espionage. Um, wow, okay, we need more trash disposal again. Wow. Okay, let's drop. Ooh, we've got, not got enough money. There we go. Right, we need catering services, though. So, catering. Now, catering will require a number of things. That is gas. I believe they need plumbing as well. 
I think they might need phone, but I'm not sure on that one, so we'll have a look. Let's have a see. Well, they need gas. Absolutely, I should have put that in straight away because I know they need gas. They do need water as well. I think they're going to need a phone so that people can phone in their requests. There we go. Right, there we are. Okay, so we've got our catering services to uh, take care of things. Ooh, people are unhappy having to wait at the elevators there. Sorry, sorry everyone. I know, I know. It is it is a bit rough. It is genuinely a bit rough. You know what? Let's, uh, let's cheer some people up. Oh, uh, we can't afford any medium art. Mm, I guess afford some small art. Um, I could put some small art in there, no. Uh, nah, I want some medium art for those areas, honestly. I'll wait. I, I can wait for a, for a little while. I can put some medium art either side. Oh, uh, sorry, some small art either side of those. That would be quite glorious. We'll have to see in a little while. Right, next up, we need financial offices. Are they off? Oh, they are happy. They need IT, though. Okay, that makes sense. They're going to need people to fix their computers, to show them how to turn the screensaver off. I'm not, I'm not generalizing there. I worked in IT. It's surprising how many times you get called in to ask. Um, like they put in a bloody screensaver password and they've forgotten the password. And it's like, ah! Uh, right. Um, industry diversification. There we go. 3,000 has been awarded, but we need IT services. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Or oh, the other chestnut is when they change the screen resolution to something beyond their screen capabilities. And then they can't change it back. And they've lost some window off to the side. Though, to be fair, enough other people, not just, you know, people who work in office buildings get that problem. So I'm not going to hold that against them specifically. Still, that was really annoying because I was constantly getting called in to fix that. Uh, right, there we go. So IT services. Not too bad. Right, let's go ahead and have a look. People magnet. Large offices. Um... People Magnet 250. Yep, you know what? We've already got that one. So, boom. There we are. Perfect. Large offices next or more residents. Fit for families. Posh pads. Beyond flats. Galleria. Um, a bit of variety. Let's grab that one. What do we need? We need medium lunch, lunch restaurants. Three of two. Medium diner and breakfast restaurants. All right. We'll get that going. So, we need some more mediums then. What can I make that's new? Ah. I can afford the very creme de la creme. Place a large sculpture by a famous artist for a significant prestige boost. It will also generate buzz and influence as well as attract curious visitors. Um, needs a consultant upgrade. You know what? That's going to go up here on this one. This will give us a, a bit more foot traffic all the way up here. Um, creative, maybe? Mm, yeah, actually creative. So I'm going to want to get a few more creative persons up here. But in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and pop down a medium restaurant. Uh, maybe I could put a little bit of a gap there. I might be able to fit something else in there, though. A small cat or something, perhaps? That'd be nice. Yeah, we'll pop in a little medium place. I need somewhere that serves a breakfast. A pizza. Serves lunch and dinner. Serves lunch. Breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch. So it's lunch and... Well, you all suck. Um, sandwich shop, though. Bagel grill. Ooh. Yeah, I think bagels. That That's pretty amazing. Let's go for that one. I think our office workers will deeply appreciate that. Uh, next up, we will... Have I got the... No, it's going to be about three minutes. Right, I'm going to need to run the water all the way down. There we go. I'll be set up, and then just to make use of this little space here, I'll pop in a cafe as well. Uh, ooh, L coffee and tea. Yes, I accept. Also, because we've got an amazing view up here, let's go ahead and let you see that amazing view. I think we're at the point where the view is starting to be nice. Yes, the view is very nice up here, so there we go. Uh, what should we put there? We'll put some plants, of course, and we'll also put a, an, a comfortable chair. Someone can just sit down and enjoy the view. There we go. Lovely. 
Right, creative. We want the 425, and of course, one of these. There we go. That is perfect. Absolutely wonderful. Now I'm going to need some more mediums over here. I need one that gives me a dinner restaurant. Uh, okay, that should be easy enough to achieve, and uh, we'll pop it there. I was going to say, I want to make room for like shops and stuff, but no, it's fine. All right, so dinner. Uh, pizza. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go with pizza. We'll go with, uh, sure, Browning's Family Pizzeria. There we are. We're going to need water. Naturally. I think we might have needed gas as well. We'll see. There we go. That was actually pretty... No, we only just needed water. That's fine. They, they cook using electric ovens. Uh, okay, so we're generating a good, healthy amount of buzz and ah. Um, the, the rent per day is gonna... Ooh, what's wrong? Yeah, you know what? I've not been on the ball with this. 87 total tenants! I have been expanding too much, one might say. Expand your maintenance staff. We're gonna need the extra staff for this one. Get that built, please. Get it built now. Chop, chop. There we go. Get out there, all of you. This is like a massive, major operation. Get out there right now. Uh, again, I really wish there was a way of automating that. Because I'm, I'm, it's not that I've not got the money. It's just I don't think to check. Uh, you know, you know, I've got janitors. I've, I've got house cleaning. Though well, I guess, you know, that doesn't really count for this, but I've lost one of them, so now I need to find out who left and where they left from. Uh, was it around here somewhere? Where's that space? There we are. Oh, well. I mean, that does just mean that I get to have something new there, then. Uh, this is an insurance agent. Sure. Okay, let's get you in there. There you are. Welcome to this deluxe tower that is full of grime, apparently, because I keep forgetting to take care of things. I'm really sorry, everyone. So sorry. So, so very sorry. It's it's my bad. All right, well, up here, we're going to go for a lot of glass. That is going to be the order of the day, is glass. Um, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, another one has left. There's not much I can do. Well, there is. I could be a better landlord, but damn it, that's hard. It's like really super hard. And we'll have. Actually, you know what? That one will just be four. In fact, that'll be less than four. There we go. This is going to look lovely. And we're going to add in some lighting. There and there. I'll do the rest in a moment. Right, where was that ne the office that I need to replace? There we go. So sorry. So, so sorry. Wait a second. That looks different from the other ones. Are they the same? Tax preparation. Okay, yeah, it, it was accounting. Fair enough. Uh, 180. Sure. You win. The bidding war is now concluded. Another three places are done. Ah... Uh, Right. Well, we can now get exclusive elevators if we really want to. I don't really care too much about that. But expanding where we can actually work, that is good. We've increased height limits for now. Ooh, outdoor art. That's pretty cool. We've unlocked that. Very well, very well. Now, up here, on the morrow, I'm going to be building something that's just going to take a lot of money. Um, and there's, there's really no way around that. It's something I really, really, really want to do. And we'll have one, two, three, one, two, three, three there, three here. And then, oop, there we go. We are about to spend a lot of our hard earned on art. Genuinely, if, if you're ridiculously wealthy, what's the point if you can't just spend it on art? Enrich your environment and the environment of those around you. Let's go ahead. Large art. Let's get a gigant. Oh, we. Where can I put this? Uh, lobby sculpture must not have any art gallery valid placements on ground floor. Oh, poop. 
All right then. Uh, can we be placed on glass? Well, how boring. I guess I can place it over here then. Ah, oh, I think I'm gonna have to mess up my my beautiful setup for this then. Ah oh, man, that's rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. But all right. I have to get rid of all these things. Actually, you know what? It would probably be a hell of a lot easier. Oh, no. That'll delete the wall. Uh, get rid of that. Well, how terrible. Uh, you know what, though? This, in a way, allows me to sort this out. Uh, in a, you know what? Let me just try this. Uh, I can't remove. Can I? Yes, I can. I can remove them all. Do I just delete the, the whole thing? Wow. Don't ask me why, but I did. I need to rebuild that now. I literally just bulldozed a part of the lobby. Like, l uh, straight through. No support beams, nothing. Just bulldozed the lobby. Madman. The money has gone to my head. Uh, right. We need that one taken away as well, please. There we go. Right, I've got a plan, you see. And I'm working to that plan. I haven't explained it, so you might be just looking on like, What is he doing? Trust me, it's going to be great. Here we are, like so, and now we've got this big old expansive wall. Only I could make it look different if I... Uh, ugh, that is a terrible idea. Uh, no, I actually... I genuinely just like this pattern. Of all the patterns, this is the only one that really gels with me for like a large wall sort of area. Uh, right, we want large art. Sculptures. We want the sculpture about there, and I'm getting a text. Um, there. Bonk. Fantastic. Uh, do we have enough for small art around it as well? We kind of do. Some other small art? Uh, you know what, though? Let's let's add in... Oop, there we go. Fantastic. Got some more money to play with. Great. Let's uh, drop in some more lighting, of course. I would like some furniture. Um, maybe some chairs either side of this. Ah, it's not quite centered. Oh, stuff I add, the more non-centered it becomes. This is a tragedy of the greatest proportions. Uh, I need to move everything across by one just to make it look right. And oh, but at the the far end, it's never gonna look right though. It's always gonna look weird. So I can do that. Um, yeah, actually, that kind of you know what that actually does look good. Hmm, it's almost like a. I stop like this is the art space and this bit is just extending out. Okay, I'll leave it like that. That kind of makes my brain itch just a wee bit less. There we are. Okay, so we've done that. I've got enough money for some decent art around here as well. So let's go ahead and add. Oh, hmm. How about like a big painting that goes there? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna get rid of these. And we're gonna invest in art. Damn it. The people of our tower need great things to look at. We will add this. They are that kind of is not quite sent. And that hurts my brain. Mm. My brain is starting to itch. Okay. Well, we can invest in a lot of art up here. Oh, these spaces would have been perfect for that giant sculpture though. Can this go somewhere other than on the ground? Floor? No, it cannot. <sighs> fountains! I can place fountains up here! Ah, oh, how fantastic! Okay, I'm happy again now. Right, well, I've got to wait though, but I'm making a decent amount of money. To be fair, we're actually bringing in the cash. Um, aesthetic appeal. Artwork cost 10%. Huh? What? Hmm. <sighs> 50% more visitors from the city, no weather impact on visitors, that doesn't impact me anyway. Retail and restaurant construction, minus 50%. Ads for restaurants and retail, ooh, that might be worth it. You know what I could make? Maybe this be a three-story area for retail. I'm out of money that badly. Wow. Plaza decoration, it's not really something for us because we've not got a plaza. Uh, nor can we make a plaza. But it is on the way to other things, so we'll go for it. But generally, this tower is doing alright. I would really love to to expand this out, and that's 
what I'm trying to get to in the politics branch is zoning changes. Instead of 3,500 tiles, lobby the commission to extend your floor space limit to 6,000 tiles. At that point, we can have a plaza. We can have separate other um, structures entirely for shopping. Like We could make a little mall area, which is just food courts and shops and i kind of like that idea but we will still have this uh sort of second area really high up here um with some food with some shopping and then above that it's just going to be oh it's going to be grand uh, what have i unlocked the ability to make Ooh, all of the plows and stuff okay i like it fountains look at that look how beautiful it looks Majestic, one might say. It actually does look really quite nice. I love I love fountains that kind of make that that this actually this basically got a, a, a sphere. It's fixed. It's not actually moving, but the way the water plays off it makes it look like it's constantly rolling. Ah, so good. Um What do we want to pop over here? You know what? I wouldn't mind a medium store, frankly. Though, I just realized we need more stuff. We've got large offices, more residences, fit for families. Um, we've not got nearly that many residences, but we could push it. Fit for families. That's the new slogan being kicked around at the Department of Housing. Couples and families provide for a stable and growing residential base, and they pay more taxes. The city would like 22 bedroom units. Hmm, yes, that's what we're going to be doing on this side. We're just going to be having... Room for families. In fact, we could do both floors. Ooh, that's true. We could just have a huge block, which is just two-bedroom apartments. Oh, I like that idea. I like that idea. We're, we're kind of doing away with this whole office block part. It'll just be um, apartments up here. Maybe we'll have offices again at the very top. Or maybe we'll have a different different uh, tower for that, and we'll move all of these out. I don't think I'll move them, because I kind of like them where they are, but we'll see about that in the near future but we do need to continue well actually no we do definitely need to continue with the offices to some degree but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to pop in a medium store right there let's have a look what we can do clothing stores computer electronic shoe stores handbags and briefcases appliances and houseware uh, let's go for appliances and houseware there we go you can have that and then we'll uh just pop this over there We'll pop in a little bit of lighting as well. Um, no, actually, we won't put that lighting. This is like kind of more of an, a back, almost an alley in a way. It just leads to the bins when you think about it. Uh, we'll add in some plants to help with the smell. I'll pop one there, and we'll pop one there as well. There we go. Right, so there we are. Strange smells keep coming from somewhere. Oh no! I put it next to the, I put it next day. Well, tough. It is gonna have to to live with it, I'm afraid. You know what though? Since I'm such a derp, I'll drop that just slightly. There you go. There's lower rent because you're next to a pizzeria. Honestly, that's gonna attract more customers. I don't know what you're talking about. It's it, it they're gonna come in there looking for something to be able to bake their own pizzas with because the smell of pizzas is so good. I'm doing you a favor, you silly people. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one and will, of course, be joining me for the next. As ever, comment down below if you have any feedback to offer and a like on the video if you enjoyed. But until I meet you again, do take care, everyone.